Welcome back, everybody. Episode 8 of Sakil World. And... Oh, let's take a peek at the garden. I honestly, I don't know what... What a mature plant looks like. I'm assuming this thing is fully grown. I guess that was a tomato. I'm assuming these things are. And that thing. That's poison ivy, I think, actually. Uh, potatoes here. But again, I don't really know if those are fully grown or not. I don't remember their... Be oh, yeah, that was what I climbed up with. So there's still... Chunks of wood in there. It's horrible. I'm never going to get this stuff cleaned out. Okay, but we need to do a little work in the gardening area. A shovel. I do have a shovel. Good. Um, we need a lot more dirt. I want some fencing to just keep my eyes open. Okay, so if I'm doing a garden on this side, well, these trees are going to have to come out. Oh, which is going to be a pain. Wow, there's a deep hole there. Where does this go to, anyway? Hmm. Interesting. A big cliff. Okay, well... What if I change the ground height to all be flat here, and I could make this whole back section into um, a big field, pretty much. Now, of course, it does mean I have to eliminate all of the tree, which won't exactly be fun. I'll also have to figure out what in the world is going on with that big pit there. Which, that's, uh, that's going to take a bit of filling to get filled up, I think. But I'm sure it's manageable. It won't be the big, the first big project I've taken on here. And I'm sure it won't be the last either. Alright, so this is, this is all set to become farm field. And I'll probably come through and square things out a bit with this whole cliff thing. Um, whether I just do floating ground sticking off the edge, which is always kind of sketch looking, but as we all know, there's not real world physics here, so that's not really an issue at all. I just dislike having outcroppings that seem really weird like there's no reason it should be an outcropping I want to fill that in as well and you know I'm gonna go ahead and do that too and then the torch should actually go there 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 and that one shouldn't exist and there should be one there that stuff should turn into grass. And we'll go ahead and turn that into farm field. Though I, I guess I could plant tomato there. Why not, right? This is all stupid worms. This is all just temporary anyway, so that'll work. All right, deep hole. This tree, I think we're okay with. Yep, that is not in the way. So it's just a mess of birches here. I mean, I love birch, but don't get me wrong. But sometimes, I tell you, it's just a pain in the butt. Cleaning them up.
Hey, I don't even know what what means to employ to do this. Like, do I try to build a stairway inside of the tree? And just get to the very tippy top? And then go around cutting my way down? It's probably the best method of doing this. And I'll only collect, you know, hundreds and hundreds of leaves. Which I have zero use for. Whoa, am I almost to the top? No, not really. No! I can't afford to fall down. I need to go up. Higher and higher and higher. And I've almost broken out. Yay. Okay, so now that I am super high up, um, I guess I just start doing this. Man, this is literally going to take forever. Yeah, this is going to be an all-day project. Like, there's just so much wood in a birch tree. And it just keeps going. This is going to take forever. While I'm at it... Oh, wait, I think there's some right here. Yes, sirree. Yes, sirree, there is. And some over here. Get rid of that. And my axe is going to break, and I don't know if I brought more steel with me. Probably didn't. So it's generally the case. This is literally going to take all day. Ah, here's another one. I almost feel like it'd be easier if I just methodically went through and lowered everything layer by layer. Because these leaves aren't going to go anywhere until the wood's all gone. Oh, man. Or I could just punch all the leaves out by hand and be left with nothing but the wood. Could do that, too. You know, because this is this makes for super good video. People love watching me punch. High scores. Wow. Oh. Didn't want that, though. Guess I'm going to have to use a stone axe. You can come in. Well, not my tool of choice, mainly because it's so slow, but it will work. Or, because it's dark now anyways, how about I just cut the video here, and then pick up when it's morning time, and I'll just spend the night harvesting wood, because I honestly don't think you guys really want to see that. Alright, so it's morning now, and I... True to my word, spent the night just chopping down at this tree, and <sighs> yeah, I'm not really even close to being done yet. But, oh boy, that went too far. But as I'm sure this is really getting super boring, because quite honestly, nobody wants to watch somebody cut wood for like 12 minutes. So I'm going to leave that alone for now, I think. <sighs> yeah, that's, that is so not working out. Oh, man, it's going to take forever. Okay. I need to make a ton of fences. Now, fortunately, I have tons of birch wood. Wait, 
Um, what do I need? I need a lot of sticks. Loads of sticks. And actually, I don't even know if I can... Yeah, I looked into doing the flint steel thing to start on fire. I don't know if it's going to work, though. Aspen, this is birch. Man, either I have to find acacia, aspen, jungle wood, pine, or default wood. I don't have any of any of those. I believe these tall s guys are, uh, are what you call it, aspen. An aspen would be fine, but I don't really like that super white color. We've got some bamboo growing out here. Which may have some kind of a use. And evidently I am out of space. Because I gathered up all these leaves. Which I totally don't need. So many leaves. And what's this? Weeds? I don't really need weeds. I don't need worms. I don't need poison ivy. There's one thing I don't need, it's poison ivy. Um, <laughs> I just want a plain old normal tree. And let me guess, there won't be any around here. Ah, here we go. A whole slew of them. Just ready to be harvested. Excellent. We need a lot of this wood. If I get some saplings, I'm going to have to plant some of these closer to me. Because I'm going to need a lot of this. Um, so I think, if I recall correctly, a fence is four pieces of wood and two sticks. So you're using, and that gives you four fences. So for every trunk piece, I can get four fences. So right now, I think I'm looking at 16 fence pieces. 14, if I'm doing my math right. And I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And f yeah, I think that's how it works. 14 fences is not nearly going to be enough. I'm going to need tons, tons more than 14. Like, I got a fence in the whole garden area. Which, the fence admittedly doesn't really do anything. Because, I think every single mob can jump a fence. I'd have to make the fences too high. Which I'm not gonna do. It's really just a decoration and kind of a safety thing. Because with the whole cliff thing being there... I'm going to kind of have the fence follow the edge of that. So I'm going to figure out whatever for edging and stuff. And then it's mostly just going to be so when there's somebody in the garden working, they don't accidentally back off the edge and fall off. And now admittedly, the bottom is mostly water going around. So I think you would probably survive. But... I would rather not have to be climbing back up. Though, I could always just use the home command and do that. But, eh, it's still best just to do it right, you know? Do it right or don't do it at all. It's probably some famous saying somebody said at some point. Actually, I think the... oh broke another axe. Going through so many axes here. 44. How many saplings do I have? Seven? You know what? Let's just hope that'll be good. And rather than walk home, even though it's super close, I just teleport. Alright, so let's throw some trees in the front yard here. Come on, I need one more. There we go. Alright, and then to make the fences. 
first we do that turn everything to planks then we do that and we want to do all and it takes a second to throw everything out there for us and we have okay I definitely did something wrong in my math because that's more than I had tree trunks hmm I don't know what I did wrong in my math certainly something though okay now there's a point where practicality meets usability and I think that's gonna be right about here for me okay now I have plenty of dirt so I can extend this out and I'm gonna have to dig out the the stone there of course but that's really not a big deal uh, the tree trunk whatever not worried about it okay so then we'll go out and then this side will go out as well and I'll throw some dirt here somewhat sort of kind of keeping it a bit symmetrical but not really too worried about that and I think I'll do something like that I will never actually see the underside of this most likely so if it sticks off really crazy looking not really worried about it Okay, and then we'll do that. Now, I probably will go around the outside and dig the edge. No, actually, it doesn't matter because a mob could still do that. Eh, yeah, I don't know. Just throw this out. Um, I mean, it should meet up with the side of the house there, so... Whatever works most practically should be what I do. La -da -da. There we go. So now it's fenced in. Theoretically, for the most part, you're safe. And then just because I always like putting torches at the corners... There we go. Kind of helps at the night time. So you can see the edges. So you, you kind of have to just guess for the straight portions. But that's okay. I'm not going to do both of those. That's just silliness. Ta da! And then I don't know how I'm going to end that out so that works. All right, so that is that. Um, we skipped the night. I do kind of want to see if I can find me some gravel. I'm gonna grab this steel I have. I don't know why I keep holding on to all this poison ivy. Like, what am I gonna do with poison ivy? It's totally useless. Okay, what I need is that the pickaxe. I need to find gravel somewhere. So then I can find flint. So I can try to do flint and steel. I don't know if it's going to work. Because there's a very good chance that fire has been disabled. And they just left flint and steel enabled. But I really want to know. If I can just burn that tree to the ground. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot about these. I'll steal that. Is there any likelihood that there's going to be gravel underwater? I don't know. Probably not. There's clay, there's sand. 
It's all this different coral and algae and seaweed type stuff. You know, gravel might be an expedition for another day. Yeah, maybe next episode. I think I'll do that. I'll just call it a day here. And then we will pick up next time, find some flint and steel, and see if we can burn this tree to the ground. And save ourselves a bunch of work. Though, admittedly, finding the flint and steel is going to be a bunch of work. Well, not the steel, but the flint is going to be a bunch of work. I wonder... Nah, I don't think there's ever gravel in cave realms. Not too much, anyway. Well, we will wrap it up here. And, uh, yeah. Catch you next time. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalfat.com, and see all my videos there. Really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request Review button right there. It takes you to form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review. Post it online. You watch. We all profit. The world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit. But, hey, do it anyways. There's You got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.